microphone for the for the camera. Okay. Thank you. We're glad you're here. It's not a trap. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. um, I agree with Sarah. Uh, I've been with the county for four years, and I think one of the main uh, things that I see when I first came on board was communication with all of our partners throughout the county, talking to each other. So a lot of people doing a lot of good things. But they don't, they don't all seem to come together. I think we've moved in a forward direction. Uh, hopefully, Sarah and our partners agree over the last four years. Our county makes referrals to agencies like the Center for Women or the Center Now and uh, Sarah's agency. We both have grants that serve similar needs. Um, but the county's budgetary restraints, I guess, would be the appropriate term over the last four years. It is difficult to channel funding to organizations like this. Uh, Commissioner Beckner does have an initiative on the table with some funding uh, specifically targeted for veterans. Those specific needs or direction has not been identified yet. Uh, we're working on that over this uh, next fiscal year. Maybe some opportunities, I don't know. I want to speak on his behalf. This is his initiative. Um, we're gonna, our, our goal is to continuously seek out federal funding because if you think about it, you know, we believe it's the federal responsibility to take care of our veterans when they come back and our county organizations are not funded, and by the way, they're not mandated by the state. We have the luxury of our Board of County Commissioners supporting us and our county administrator, but by no means are they mandated. So uh, I think we're very blessed in that aspect to have 67 counties that represent all of our veterans, whether male or females. Um, just to give a, a general idea of the value just to Hildegrove County, uh, Larry already gave some statistics, but last year, actually for two years in a row, Hillsborough County placed first in the amount of benefits that a veteran receives, whether that be monthly compensation, recurring uh, monies, or uh, backlog claims, or retroactive claims. $300 million comes into this county last year from our veterans, all males and females. So I think that just shows significantly uh, the need and the contributions that our veterans uh, contribute to Hillsborough County. So I'm not really sure if that answered your question. I don't want to get too far into the track, but... <laughs> well, may I ask, you said the county's not mandated. Is the state mandated? The, um, Larry could probably answer that. The state has, we have an obligation for veteran services. We have benefits. And I'm going to forward the package to the chairwoman here. Um, but the state has specific legislative functions that we have to provide for the veterans. And I want to tag on to what Frank said. $300 million is spent here in Hillsborough County. So those are indirect monies that your county is getting that is spent